Hello fellow artists and welcome back to another video. So today we have the inspired by prompt today. So we have inspired by the future and I decided to do an astronaut with some doodles. So I'm using a Danique sketchbook and my Prism Club pencils. I have a reference picture which I found from Pinterest. And yeah, just a few little beauty shops, beauty shots there. And yeah, I just filmed some little bits that I was doing whilst recording it. I couldn't record all of the thing from start to finish because my head was pretty much over the camera and over the photo. So you would have just seen the back of my head. So yeah, I was using a brush pen to like fill in the visor mask as you can see because it was much easier to do that. I could have used a black pencil but it would have took a lot longer and on this paper I noticed that the black kind of like loses its colour as like white bits so I'm not sure if that's because it's like pulling up a little bit of the paper because this is not bristle board at all and here I'm putting in some circles just to tell you where I am going to do the doodle bit and I thought I'd speed up just a little bit of a section just so you can see what it looks like sped up doing realism I guess takes a lot of time just so much time I really enjoy it but to a point sometimes I couldn't do one every week because I'd kind of get a little bit bored of it because it's very time consuming and sometimes working on like a piece so big can be a little bit like that now I'll leave a link to everyone in the description box I'm not sure everyone was doing this prompt this time so yeah, they might not have a video on it. <laughs> so, yep. Here I have just finished off the astronaut section, which was such a relief. You know, sometimes it's like, oh, is it going to work out? Is it not? Sometimes it's really hard to tell. And an astronaut is something that I've never actually done realistically before because I usually stick to animals. I have done some faces and things, but mainly animals. So here I'm letting you know that I'm going to be adding the spacey doodles that was kind of like a post-it reminder for myself just in case I forgot because I was going to do like random ones but then I was like no that'd be great so in my other sketchbook I kind of sketched out some doodle ideas and went for the one on the right hand side and obviously I'm going to be doing it in the colours that I'd used there and to do that I'm going to be using Ohuhu markers, which I absolutely adore. I would love the full set of Copics, but yeah, <laughs> too expensive for me. Yeah, so here I'm just like sketching in the doodles a little bit and obviously going for the space theme. So we've got UFOs, meteorites, planets, moon, <laughs> and yeah, there's actually more than one moon, isn't there? So. I can't remember which planet has a bunch of moons around it. Was it Venus? Jupiter? One of those. It's been a long time since I like done a little bit of space stuff. I think it was primary school actually. Oh, it could have been high school. I'm not too sure. But once I'd finished the sketch, I then went on to the inking part, which is probably one of my favorite parts. You'd think it'd be coloring, but it's really difficult to get all the colours right because you don't want to use a specific colour in one area more than once. So yeah that's why I like the inking best. I go over it in one line and then I go over it again to get some thicker sexy lines. <laughs> um, yeah I used a Unipin 0.9 which I got for Christmas. I got a pack of three and I've already used two so I've got one left. On one of them, the nib sort of went really weirdly. I don't know if it was just a faulty one or not. I'm not too sure. And I usually use a piece of paper to go over the bit so I don't smudge it. But this time I worked from left to right, which is good. So I didn't really smudge much. And yeah, we're just finishing in the last little bit here. I did a telescope, well I tried, I don't know if you can see it properly, <laughs> but I tried to add one. And then a little planet in the corner with some flames 
and there it is. There's the finished doodle bit. All that's left to do now is to colour it. And the best way to do that is to use some awesome, cheap, almost cheap <laughs> markers. And I love Ohuhu markers. They have a brush nib and they also have a chibble, chibble? <laughs> chisel nib side. And I always take out like a couple colours, like three, four, five. And I just use those because like similar tones to each other. So I think I use vermilion. I used a red, I used orange, I used two types of yellow, some flower yellow and I can't remember the other one. Might be marigold actually. And yeah, I just coloured away. I think the yellow sunflower nib needs changing. I don't know if they do nibs, I know they do refills. But I'd like to know if they do nibs because the nib on the, the yellow one is gone a little bit weird. <laughs> I think it's because I've used it so much because it's one of the colours that I like to use. I would really love the, is it 320 set? It's the giant set. It's huge. I would love that but I have nowhere to put it. <laughs> There's not really much room at the moment because my whole place is just filled with art supplies. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just colouring it in here. It's really nice to listen to some music as well. A little bit of relaxing music whilst I did this. You know, on YouTube, I could probably put a series on Netflix, but I didn't do that. I actually listened to some space themed music, which was kind of fitting because <laughs> it like teleports you to that sort of thing. If that makes sense, it might not make sense. But yeah, here we are. We're on to the final little section and this is a finished piece. This is my finished inspired by piece. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment down below what you think of this and share with your friends, subscribe for more and I will see you next time with another video. Okay, bye bye.